Hello there, gang, and welcome to Tastemaker, episode 31. Uh, we are what feels like getting in spring, which is great. Um, this is a live recorded cocktail tasting and review for anyone who is new. Nope, no one this time. Okay, so we'll just get right into it. Um, so this one, uh, this one's pretty cool. Uh, it's quite different, something different that, that I haven't done one like this before. Um, do I say that every time? I don't know. Uh, but, uh, but this one comes from, it was recommended by a friend of mine, uh, to protect his identity. Let's call him Hickalus. That's right. So my friend Hickalus, uh, provided this drink to me and I was like, Ooh, that does sound really intriguing. So let me tell you what it is. Get right into it. So this is called a silver root beer fizz. And again, there's a lot of cocktails out there that are, uh, you know, gin fizz and blah, 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 fizz, this, that, and other. This, I haven't done a fizz before, but this is a silver root beer fizz. Uh, hint, there's root beer in there. Um, but there's other things too, like uh, white rum, Jamaican rum, lemon juice, pineapple juice, egg white, which I love, and root beer. Oh, and also sprinkled some nutmeg on top, grated nutmeg. Um, so this is, is the white rum, you, you all know, understand white rum, Jamaican rum, uh, for those who don't know, is strong. It is strong rum. Uh, this one happens to be 57% alcohol. Uh, normally there are I remember trying to put one and make a rum runner out of one one time and it was just like, oh, that's too much. Uh, anyway, but that's, but since it's a root beer fizz, silver root beer fizz, it didn't come out silver in color. It came out, I actually thought it looks a little darker than what it shows on the video here, but um, it, it when I first poured, basically you shake all the, you dry shake the ingredients without, without the root beer, uh, then add ice, shake, wet shake it, and then top it with root beer, and it looks like a root beer float. You know, as it's kind of mixing together and stuff. So, there you go. The, woo, the Jamaican rum is strong, so I'm guessing the root beer is going to help counteract that a little bit. Let's see, because when you're making this, you're like, woohoo. Um, well, let's, let's get right into it, by the way. Oh, you have a lovely... Uh, I don't have a Collins glass. You're supposed to put this in a Collins glass. This is a P.F. Chang's glass. Fabulous restaurant. So is Red Lobster. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. Wow, what is that? What is that? That is odd. Straight up odd. I don't know how to explain this. <clears throat> um, you smell, you smell the rum, not necessarily strong smell, but you smell uh, on the nose is almost like a, a tropical pina colada little bit kind of deal. Because you're getting some of the pineapple obviously in there. But the taste, is it supposed to taste like that? It's not exactly something you're going to reach for and request. But when you, when you order one, you're not exactly going to go, that's terrible. But it is closer to terrible than it is to good. Does that make sense? Uh, oddly enough, I can't taste the root beer whatsoever. Whatsoever. Um, I really wanted to expo try to explain what this one tasted like. I can't, I can't do it. You know, it actually is close. The taste of it appears to me is almost closer to Coca-Cola, if you will, flavor of the cocktail than, uh, than obviously root beer. And I used only the finest root beer from A&W. You, 
you want to make it at home, go right ahead. I don't think you're going to make two. That's just my opinion. Um, but feel free to make one. Uh, if you're curious, do it. Do it. Do it. We all got to be curious. We all got to try something. We all got to figure out what we don't want just as much as we figure out what we do want. That's a life lesson for you, by the way. Um, so. Still not there. It is... I feel like there's something you could do to tweak it to get it on the verge of maybe getting like cream soda-ish or something, but it's not there. It just isn't there. So anyway, uh, hope you guys, uh, if you try it, try it, enjoy it. Thank you, Hickless, for the drink recommendation. And uh, everyone have a wonderful spring, and I'll see you pretty soon. Later. <laughs>